Good morning, Cross Kingdom. I am Paul Chrisminitz, and here are your announcements. Well, we're living in the time of our visitation, that Kairos moment when God is moving. In the midst of it, there's pressure from the adversary mounting to make you give up, to make you look at what's not happening, to make you look at what you wanted but you don't see. But it's a lie and it's a deception that's intended to neutralize us before we can be part of what God is going to be doing. Now is the time to lift up our hope. There's a time when hope doesn't happen by accident. There's a time when hope is something you have to choose. I will choose my hope. I will choose not to look at these other things. Now is the time. So we're still working on the building outside. It's getting finished out, and man, are we excited. Already met in it once, and it's just so great for the kids. I want to give a shout out and thank you to every parent and every volunteer who showed up for the meeting last week. We are going to hit the ground running. We have gotten more volunteers ready to go, and so things are looking up for kids and youth ministries. Thank you so much. It's because of you we are able to do this and be excited for what is coming. All over the world, couples are crying out for help. It was through a dream I had that heaven answered this cry. After working as a marriage and family therapist for over 30 years, I can truly say that God is releasing a supernatural strategy to heal, strengthen, and restore couples through this ministry, Love After Marriage. I actually got to the place where I said, you know, I'm not gonna do marriage anymore. I didn't know how to make an emotional connection. When we heard about Lamb, our marriage was strong enough that I was actually kind of excited about that. You know, I mean, things were really good. There is so much more available than good. No matter what you've been through, regardless of your history, whether you've been married 40 years or four months, God wants you and your spouse living in oneness, spiritually, emotionally, and sexually. And it's truly like linking arms and coming together instead of going against each other and fighting each other. You will be placed in a small group where couples share things they've never shared before. They say things like, I've never felt so loved and accepted. God's just waiting for you to say yes. He wants to give you a one flesh marriage. Living with intimacy, passion, and enjoyment. Overcoming every obstacle together and letting the world see Jesus through your love. It is possible. You can have. Love after marriage. That's it for this week. We hope you have an amazing Memorial Day weekend, and we will see you next week. God bless.